I'm going to show you how to automatically time anime to different language subtitles. Using this program called Alas, it's a command line tool used to sync subtitles to video files. It's Kayagi's dissertations project and he's the same person who contributed a lot to the Morphman project and it deals with constant offsets splits when you know like different versions of a file for example might have like advertisements or director's cut etc as well as different frame rates so i'm going to show you how alas works with two of the above use cases so how it works with constant shifts and how it works with splits as well what you'll need in this tutorial is literally alas ag sub and renamer and substar srs or mkv cleaver so let's get into it So in this example, I'm just going to show you Love Life Sunshine. We got Love Life Sunshine and it's time to English subtitles. Let's just get our Japanese subtitles and put them on. Um, it's not in time, so people are not speaking and subtitles are going on and off. So we kind of just want to time them so it's perfect essentially. So what we want to do is we want to go up here and then type in cmd so you can bring up the command line and then you'd want to get this one program called alas all the links should be in the description so literally drag this onto here and then click space go back to your love life sunshine folder and grab your subtitle file the subtitle file which is times to it already right and just drag that there and space again and then you'd want to get your Japanese subtitle. So it's just this, right? And then after that, you'd want to click a space again, and then you'd want to make a name of what you're going to call the fixed subtitle. So we could just call it like J A fixed. Doesn't really matter. J A fixed dot S R T because it is because the original subtitle file for the Japanese subtitle. So our other subtitles, what we want to sync it to is SRT. If it's an ASS, then you'd want to make it ASS. And then simply, we just click enter, enter, and then boom, it says it shifted it by a couple of seconds, and it should be in our previous directory. So it's just here called JFX. So let's jump back onto this on time subtitle, which kind of sucks. Um, and put this fixed one in okay so as you can see it is correctly timed so it comes on when the people talk and it comes off when the people are not speaking so now that I showed you guys how to sync one subtitle I'm now going to show you how to sync multiple subtitles using the batch method so we're going to use something called a batch script and i'm going to walk you through every stage of the process what i'd like to do first i'm going to work with love life sunshine and i'm going to make a new folder and let's call this new folder tutorial example and let's copy all of these subtitles which were already extracted Then let's got all of our Japanese subtitles and put them in the same folder. Now what we'd want to do is rename everything. So I'm going to use a program named Ant Renamer. So if Ant Renamer, let's drag the, sun, the Love Life Sunshine episodes, well, um, subtitles into the program. Um, files only right so leave that then click actions at the top then click enumeration your one should just come like this right what I'd want to do is rename it so I want to call it love live ing one and the uh, ing and then this so this stands for your number the number of the episode and this is the extension of the episode so as you can see it's going to be called love live ing and then one for example then we'll just click go and then now everything's been renamed accordingly 
let's delete this and then we're going to go up here and rename the Japanese ones and then close the program after that so as you can see everything has been renamed and it's all consistent and this is going to help with the script what I created so we're going to grab the script what I created and we're going to paste it into our folder called tutorial example then we're going to edit the script and when we edit the script it's going to look like this so what we would want to do is type in the episode number how many episodes we're going to go through so there's 13 then we would want to paste in the location where your alas.bat file is so it's here for me so I'll just paste this right here and then slash so it has to be this kind of slash so it's the other way slash alas.bat so that space these are the subtitles what we'd want to sync so our original um, subtitles right that are times to the video so lots of love live ing that's what they're called right and it's going to go from 1 to 13 and then simply we'd want to do for the same the same thing for where it says anime jp subs so paste in love live jp that's what it's going to be called right so love live jp and then what we'd want to call them the fixed files we we'll just want to call them love live fixed and then we would want to save this boom and let's check if it's saved yeah and then now you can do either one of the two things you could either double click and it would run and it'll produce the corrected subtitles or you can go onto your command line and do it there so if you want to do it for your command line click cmd so you're in the folder and then simply drag that file and click enter and as you can see it does it for every single episode there we go so now we've got 13 different subtitle files all fixed and timed to our anime which is pretty cool so let's just test this out Let's go back. Let's go into a random episode. Young Dreamer. So episode nine. And then go on to our tutorial example. Click episode nine. Put in here. And now, as you can see. It's fully so it's fully like just timed. So yeah, cool. That's how you do it for multiple episodes. So with the first example, that was the example of a constant shift. So this error was essentially our English subtitle and our Japanese subtitles slightly out of shift with our main video. So to correct it, it just moved it back by the number of seconds so these can be aligned so it would fit with the original audio. However, it's not always constant as sometimes with the original audio such video, you have a problem with it splits. So in one section, it's all good. In another section, it's all good. And then in another section, it's split by a couple of seconds and then in another section it's split by a different duration so each section block is split differently and if you'd like to do this manually it's a lot more tedious as you have to find out where the splits occur and then manually take care of them i did this for one or two episodes and i thought it was ridiculous but what this program alas does is thankfully deals with these splits we're going to go into that with this next step we're going to deal with a show called data life you can do this one out of two ways you need to extract the subtitle file from this to do that you would use subs to srs and you can use the mkv extract tool 
So another way I like is using MKV Cleaver. It's a bit more complicated to set up as you need to download a separate program called MKV Tool Mix and you click locate MKV Tool Mix and you select that folder where you downloaded a separate file. But with this it's easier to do multiple things and it's more visual. Put this here, select subtitle track and then I'll leave this blank as you'll go in the original directory and then I'll click extract and then we're good. So now something to do every time you want to sync a subtitle open another command line in the window so as you can see we're in that location right now so we would want to do the same thing we did previously so then we simply just click enter and see what happened here it says our frame rate ratio is one so it shifted like nine blocks nine subtitles by one duration 270 subtitles by another duration 66 by another duration and etc so now let's test our fixed subtitle and see if it's in place and yeah it's all fixed but it's not always like this. Sometimes you have a situation where the subtitle file has a lot of junk in it and you have to clean it up. With Boku no Hero Academia, the problem is it's with the original subtitle. So if we jump onto it on AGSub, make sure you have AGSub downloaded. We see that we have 20,000 lines. And if this is the case, then when we time it with our other subtitle, which has 300 lines, right? This is what's gonna happen, it's, it's off, right? So we're gonna jump on our command line. So CMD. And then just call it fixed, right? JA fixed. Dot. Is it ASS? It's dot ASS. Okay. And as you can see, the reference file FPS and the input file FPS are off. One is 25 and one is 23.976. So while synchronizing, it guess that there'll be three blocks which will be shifted by different lengths. So let's test this out. Here's our fixed subtitle. Yeah, this is totally off as you can see. So inaccurately guessed what was going on. So what we'd want to do here is we'd want to fix up this file, what we extracted. So simply double it up, double it up, open it up, sorry, in AG sub, and then click subtitle, sort lines by style name. So as you can see, there's a lot of things going on. And I know this is annoying. Not every subtitle is gonna be as horrible as this, but simply what you'd wanna do is click, um, click at the bottom. So I clicked right here and we don't need all the signs, right? So let's go to the signs and go to subtitle and then click and so hold shift and then click the other space and then simply just click control and delete and then you'll delete everything. We want all the thoughts. We don't need the signs. Let's delete that. We don't need an opening, so we want to keep scrolling. It goes on for a while. All right, so let's quickly scroll up till opening Romaji goes away. As you can see, it's a lot. So open Romaji. We would want to get rid of it by here. And we don't need the open, opening or so. Open English. So delete we also don't need notes and we probably need our narrator so delete intro so delete and you want to keep our narrator and you'd want to keep our main so keep scrolling with our main um, flashback we probably need our flashback as well so then let's delete all the ending which is also another problem uh, there we go and the magic delete
Lee. And uh, um, and then you'd want to delete this. Uh, no, well, you'd want to delete all of this and then as well the English. Get away. Delete this. And now we've got a subtitle file which only has 307 lines. So let's save this. And simply what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this fixed one. This is the one which is actually, I'm not going to delete it. We're going to go here and I'm going to click up and simply repeat the process, but call this two. So I'm going to repeat the process now. So as you can see, now that I deleted everything, all the crap, our reference file to input file ratio is now one and it just shifted everything by um, a set timing on the episode and see what fixed does if it's all good Shh. I showed you all ways to mess around your subtitles to make sure that they're perfectly clean in order to use it with this program named Alas. Sweet, so hopefully you got to the end of the video and if you did, I appreciate it very much. Um, thank you very much for Kaigi for producing this tool to begin with and also thank you very much to Crinkle, Wide and Vlad for producing the free tutorials to about um, the previous name of this program called Liner, which is very similar to the usage here. And um, another tutorial for the program, what we're using in this tutorial called Alas. All of those videos were really helpful and I used techniques from all of those videos to come up with this specific method to automatically retime subtitles. So thank you very much um, for all the help guys. And um, yeah, like, Hope it helps out. And if you've got any questions, put it in the comments and I'll try and reply when I can. But yeah, we good. Also, big shout out to my friend, Mr. Char. He provides most of the music for my videos and I always appreciate it.